ISS, or uh, International Space Station, is a new uh, space thriller uh, that just came to us. Uh, I was actually pretty excited for this. I uh, saw the trailer for it not, not too far back, I think, during the Iron Claw. And uh, it actually looked pretty intriguing. I, you know, January releases are January releases, and I, I you have to kind of temper your expectations for them. So I didn't, you know think it was going to be a, something amazing, something that's going to make my 2024 year end list or anything like that. One of my rings just fell. Um, but it, it had a very interesting concept, and I always am going to give those movies chances just in case, you know, they deliver on somewhat of that front. And uh, I'm going to make this review pretty short because I don't have a ton to say about this film. But it, it was a very frustrating experience because it really gave me not a lot to talk about at the end of the day. Uh, having something as interesting as uh, U U.S. astronauts and uh, Russian astronauts on the same space station while a nuclear warfare breaks out between the two countries is something that could have been... Uh, it should have been a home run. This movie, if it was if it came out in any other month, if it was made by someone who I was even a little bit familiar with their work and enjoyed it, would probably be an easy home run. It can create so much tension. Uh, it just it feels like something that should have been done before but hasn't, and and kind of lends itself to um, being very you know well written and well rounded. This movie was not that. It took the most uninteresting route possible um, and didn't ever focus on what makes this, uh, you know, dynamic so interesting. Uh, it, it chooses to focus on the interpersonal relationships between the, uh, the astronauts and creates drama through that and not necessarily through, you know, the eyes of like a political lens or anything else. It just gives us nothing in terms of of real tension and real you know heart pounding thrilling moments uh there were you know sequences that i was enjoying honestly the actors did the best with what they were handed i i don't really blame any of them uh for making this movie just so inherently dull but it was way too focused on the drama between these characters and not the tension and that is why? Why would they choose to... Anyway, uh, visually, this movie is competent. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have the best visual effects you're ever going to see from space, but there are cool moments. It is something, if you're going to see, you should probably see it in a movie theater. But honestly, this concept lends itself so well to um, a straight-to-streaming movie that I don't know why they didn't just do that. This movie is bombing at the box office, and is probably going to, you know, telling Hollywood that people don't want to see mid-budget thrillers anymore. No, it's just that people don't want to watch shitty um, mid-budget thrillers. And we, I've, I've talked about this ad nauseum with, you know, one location thrillers. This is just another one of those. They don't say anything new. There is nothing intriguing going on in terms of the filmmaking. There is really very little to talk about outside of its base premise and the twists and turns that we get that i'm not gonna obviously spoil here are so non-existent and so and hit with such a thud that like audibly i was like oh okay all right that really that that's what we're choosing to do here uh it was a very frustrating experience from start to finish uh it's not the worst thing i've ever seen like it's not night swim thank god but um yeah the iss gives me zero to you know zero um there's nothing to chew on here there's nothing to take away from it so uh iss is going to get a d plus uh and yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about it. Uh, did you guys see ISS? What did you think of it? Please let me know in the comments. And if you are enjoying my content, please give a like and a subscribe. You know, helps me out, uh, helps me churn out more stuff like this. I'm still working on my best of the year videos. Those should both be out. At least the first part should be out this week. Um, I'm also going to be reviewing The Kitchen, which is a new Netflix movie directed by Daniel Kaluuya, which I'm very excited to watch. I've heard some mixed things about it, but it looks 
you know, right up my alley. And then I think at the end of January, just because I watched a couple of new releases that I didn't get the chance to review, I'll probably smush that into one video. Uh, I'll talk about Self-Reliance, the Jake Johnson comedy, Good Grief, the Daniel Levi um, rom-com thing, and uh, Society of Snow, which I have not yet watched. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah.